Hey everyone, it's Tourmaline, and today we're going to be looking at this crystal growing kit. Let's get to it. Looks like we got a popsicle stick, two rocks, some crystals, and a little tin and instructions. Fill the display pedestal to about three-fourths full with cold water. Pour the water into a container. Oh, so this is to display it, so I'm going to need a separate container. Make note of the water level and pour it away. Ask an adult to help you get hot water, pour it into the container to the same level as the cold water. Open the crystal powder chemicals and pour three fourths of the bag into the container. Mix it until it has dissolved. Why three fourths? Place the display pedestal from the front of the packaging on a flat surface with newspaper underneath. Pour the chemical solution on into the display pedestal. Place a base rock into the chemical solution. Sprinkle the remaining. Crystal powders on top of a rock. This will help it grow faster. Within hours, you'll start to see some crystals form. Crystals grow approximately three to four centimeters. Hey, so I'm not gonna show you the results of that experiment just yet because I have two new kits from the Dollar Tree as well. This one's the same type of kit, just packaged differently, I guess a different brand. And then this one is a crystal tree. And from what I can tell, these are like harder rock crystals and these are soft. So we're gonna go through both of those real quickly in a time-lapse type form. And then you'll get to see the results of all three experiments growing. So let's get to it. Maybe this one will have better instructions. All right, instructions. And it looks like some, oh, I like they're jelly cubes. So this is totally different. Watch small gel cubes grow into beautiful crystals. Dissolve cubes in water and watch them crystallize. Grows in minutes. Mix crystal packets together to change colors. Use over and over. Interesting, this is way different. So I don't want the results of the last experiment to affect you too much. I think I just couldn't follow directions. Really with the last one, it needed to be hot water and I ended up kind of having this like lukewarm water. So hot water with the regular growing kit and you'll probably be fine. Okay, these you're supposed to place in a bowl or jar, fill completely with water, allow cubes and water to sit, drain excess water, when the crystals stop growing. Remove crystals from the bowl, place them on a paper towel for a few minutes. Once they're dry, have fun. I'm not sure what that means, but okay, that seems way more forgiving. We stick some in a bowl. I think there's purple, blue, and clear, and then watch them grow. So, let me put these side by side and just do them at the same time, because this seems like a pretty easy experiment. So here's the crystal tree, I'm gonna stick these to the side, I'll find all in a minute. Directions and the little bit. All right, so we got some sort of liquid, a little stand, and cardboard trees with some color on the edges of the branches, if you can see that. Okay, so you build the tree, you bend the branches different directions, pour the contents of the magical crystal solution into the base, and move it to a safe place, let it stand for 24 hours to let the tree absorb all the solution. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a 24 hour time lapse, but 
we'll see what happens. All right, this is the larger base. All right, so dollar store crystal grind kits, will they work? Uh, sort of. They were kind of disappointing. Um, this tree's sort of cool. It does fall apart really easily. I don't, uh, let's see. Anyway, but that's kind of expected. Um, it looks really cool and I took a lot of shots with it, so you'll see those soon. I was a little disappointed that it never actually got to the top and the directions say in 24 hours. This is now not uh, almost 72 hours later. I want to say it took a little over 48 hours to get to where you see it now and where you saw it at the end of the time lapse. Uh, these are stupid. Don't get these. That's this science for kids grow your own crystal kit. So you put them in water. They kind of get a little pointier, but never actually look anything like that picture. And then when you take them out of water to dry and have fun, they don't dry. They just go back to their jelly cube state. And they're not as small as they used to be, but they did make for, ooh, there that goes. They did make for some kind of cool pictures too, but that's probably not what most of you are looking for when you're getting a crystal growing kit. This one, if it, were to turn out anything like that picture, honestly that has a lot of potential to me. Um, I didn't really follow the instructions correctly and that's kind of what happened with that one. But I might try that again someday. Let me know if you are interested in that. I feel like it's got to be a while because I can't do like tons of crystal growing videos all at once. So that's that. I think that's all my thoughts. I have a bunch of pictures to show you. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, I will see you next time. Maybe have my face in the video again. See ya.